Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Hello, is he from Konkavita? Hello. <laughs> She'll sick. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Izzy from Crunk Divide. Today in this video, what we're going to be doing is sampling some American cuisine. The finest that I have not managed to try yet. So let's get to it. So first of all, we're going to be trying this. A hungry man. Little packages of food are our TV dinners. Best thing that I can see is that it includes your dessert. You cook it all together. <laughs> Let's give this a go. All right. Hmm. So the taste actually isn't that bad. A meaty sponge. Pretty good, pretty good tasting. But again, the texture is somewhat lacking. Very um, sticky. Tastes like a bean. So it comes with like a brownie. You could have it first if you want to, who cares? America, there's no rules. So let's see. That's actually pretty good. It gets the job done. What I think I would rate it, because you kind of get everything, is I would rate this a six out of 10. I mean, the texture of everything is a little bit funky, but you do get everything at once. Everything is mediocre here. Gets the job done. Now, we're actually starting off pretty strong here because this is the most diabolical thing I've ever seen. Real brewed gold peak tea unsweetened. I've tried to avoid trying iced tea because the thought of it repulses me. I mean, tea's supposed to be hot. Duh, ask a British person. Me. It's not supposed to be iced. I'll be more optimistic than that. Okay, here we go. It's actually not too bad. Um, it's quite like bitter tasting, I guess. But it's actually quite refreshing when it gets hot. I mean, it's not as terrible as what I thought it would taste, admittedly, but yeah. Nope, I'm good with my English breakfast tea. I will give that a... Actually, I'll give it a five out of 10. It was all right. But yeah, it just kind of tastes like a cold cup of tea that I've forgotten about. A neglected cup of tea, if you will. So next up, we have a Vienna sausage. Chicken, beef, pork added in chicken broth. Okay. <laughs> Questionable meat. So let's give it a go. Let's heat this baby up and let's see how it tastes. Ding, ding. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Let's give it a go. Um, okay. Yep, that's not good. Mm, yep, uh, two out of 10. Sorry, Mr. Sasser, it's just, it's not me. So next up we have, I love the idea of these. Corn dogs, yeehaw! And here is how it comes. You heat up in the microwave, it's just on a, thank you. My first thought is that it's extremely sweet. It's like a sausage wrapped in a donut. So it kind of tastes like a meaty donut. Let's go with the mustardo first. Yep, now it just tastes like a donut with mustard on it. It's actually pretty good with the ketchup. Not bad. I would sample a mini corn dog canapé, definitely. Uh, let's give this a... I'm actually going to give that a healthy 6.5 out of 10 because it's not gorgeous tasting, but it does get the job done. All right, next up, we're going to keep with the hot food, I guess. Um, this seems to be quite a staple of the American diet a hot pocket. What I like is that this comes in a sleeve. Armor for your hands, because I guess these guys get pretty hot. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I'm assuming this is gonna taste like pizza, but who knows. Hmm. The 
pepperoni sucks. I don't really, ugh, I don't really like pepperoni, so, so yeah, it was all right. Um, there's a lot of filling in there. They don't shy on the filling. Look, it's nice, <laughs> pretty good. Um, I wouldn't eat this all the time. People do, whatever. I don't judge, but it tastes pretty good. Um, I would give this a hot e seven out of ten. Why not? Gets the job done. All right, so next up, we're gonna be trying this. Uh, some liquid gold. Doesn't look like it's moving much. The texture's almost like plasticky, I guess. What do you expect? It's mac and cheese in a cup. So yeah, it gets the job done. I would give this a six out of 10. Six out of 10. We're gonna do a little bit more of a fizzy drink. I don't know where the line is drawn between ginger ale, ginger soda, and ginger beer. Who knows? So smelling it in the cup, I, I'm not trying to make anyone mad, but it kind of smells like vomit, acidic, like stomach acid. Sorry. So let's give it a taste. Yep, that's good. A nice creamy taste to it. I would give this a nine out of 10. Actually, it's pretty tasty. It only lost a point because it kind of smelled vomity for one second there, but it seems to have gone. I'm used to it now. <laughs> so we're gonna actually pair these two together. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> oh. They've um, manipulated the meat quite well for it to do that. It's got this kind of hard skin on the outside and then the meat is kind of mushy. Like, I could probably push some of the meat out. See, look at that. Quite bizarre. Um, if I was really hungry and we were at a gas station on tour and that was the only thing, I would definitely eat that. Um, but that's like, survival mode. I would give this a three out of 10. Sorry, Mr. Slim Jim. Now, what I think we're gonna be doing is making a Sammy. What I love about this is it's perfection. We only want perfect bread. And look at this creepy girl on the front. Sammy, she's like, I like my bread. <laughs> she's kind of a little bit creepy. It's like a donut. Um, let's grab a little slice. Let's make an all-American sandwich. Little cheese residue all over my fingertips. <laughs> Let's try it. All oh, this is so sticky. I mean, it tastes okay. The ham doesn't really taste like anything. The cheese is very sticky and plasticky. The sa the bread just like sticks to the roof of your mouth. This is not a great sandwich. Um, I'll give it a 3.5, I guess, because it doesn't taste terrible. It doesn't really taste of anything, but it's just kind of like very bland and like plasticky feeling and sticky and I don't know. So this is English muffins. Uh, these actually do look pretty similar. I feel like English muffins are almost more common here in America than in England. So let's try it with a little bit of country crop. Raspberry jam. All right, so, okay. Yep. This is actually really good. With a nice warm cup of tea. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. And don't be thinking it's just because it's the English muffin I'm giving it a good review. It actually tastes good. We have some cereal. Um, it's very colorful. <laughs> Squeezed from the teats this morning. <laughs> this kind of tastes nice and sugary. Um, I don't know what fruit they're basing it off in these fruit loops. I would give this a eight out of 10. Yeah, eight out of 10, pretty tasty. Pop-Tarts, I think Pop-Tarts might have made it into England now, but um, 30 grams of sugar per tart. That is good. I really like this actually. 
Here's the thing though. I don't know, two, oh, two of them have like over half your amount of sugar for the entire day. That's a lot in one of these little guys. I wouldn't have this for breakfast, maybe dessert. I will give this a 7.5 out of 10. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. So, this is what I've been looking most forward to, is Easy Cheese American Spray. I mean, it's cheese in a spray can. I've never tried this, I've avoided it in my entire time of being here in America. It's a little bit scary, it says no need to refrigerate. So that's a little bit creepy. Um, I'm gonna try it on one of these little biscuit things, Triscuit crackers. For best results, remove cap, done. Hold applicator tip close to food, press tip firmly, and move slowly across the food stuff. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit messy. Good girl. It's deception cheese. <laughs> they don't make this easy. I need, I need to use my thumb. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Very creamy, um, doesn't really taste like cheese. Oh my gosh, if only my mother could see me now. <laughs> it doesn't taste terrible. It's just a very bizarre concept that you got cheese in a spray can. Practically, I wouldn't even use this for anything. I don't even know what I put on top of. But it gets three points because of the novelty. It's a pretty good novelty. Three, two, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got some crisps to try. Um, we got onion flavored rings, which I, we have similar stuff um, in England, I guess. And then we got flaming hot. I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's see. I mean, yeah, pretty good. These ones are a bit more crushed up. This one I think it's in like a little bag. But I do like spicy things. Like a little bit sweet tasting. But it's like, they just say it tastes like a spicy onion, really. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. I would eat, I would definitely eat a bag of the hot ones over the onion ones. Um, I'm gonna get these. A seven out of 10, and then these are an eight out of 10, because they're actually pretty yummy. And I like how it kind of gives you a little bit of orange ready fingertips. So we got Leia's potato chips there. Looks like a potato. Really salty. I would give these a seven out of 10, just cause they're plain, but whatever, they taste pretty good. Um, just very salty. So onto another, I think Vegas from Michigan I get as well. Artificially flavored cream sodas, high fructose corn syrup flavored. Dangerously good though. I would give that a, you know what? I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. That's actually pretty good. Toast chee crackers. And it's got some real peanut butter in the middle, but look, it's not like toast, Cheese, it's toast chee. Peanut butter on cheese. That kind of flavor combination is making me a little bit nervous. The cheese thing um, is a little bit weird, but you can't really taste the cheese, but it's more of like a visual thing, I think. Surprisingly good, seven out of 10. So we have Oreos in England, but we don't have all the crazy flavors that you guys have. Latte, I'm actually quite excited for this. This is not a good flavor. I do really like Oreos. Like I could probably eat a whole pack of Oreos by like the original flavor. 
Whatever, it's like, I'll give this a disappointing 4 out of 10 because it's shit. Figo. Ho ho's. Outside just tastes like icing, not like chocolate. Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. This is acceptable though. 5 out of 10. If you want to know what ho tastes like, that's what it was. Bland and disappointing. <laughs> Little secret, a little dirty secret. Spiced pumpkin pie in dark chocolate. Mm. No. No, Kristen. No good. I don't like that, I'm sorry. Three out of 10. Late July snacks. So it's kind of like Doritos, but fancy Doritos. I do like that. Let's try some of the spray cheese on this, like the picture. Well, this is nacho cheese, but let's give some spray cheese a go on this. I love it. <laughs> it's disgusting. All right. Nope, it ruins it. It's not good. Chips are good. I would give those an 8 out of 10, they were pretty yummy. They were good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Now this, I believe is an American staple. The Twinkie. Looks about three inches in length. Mm. It's okay, the, the cream is kind of it's like plasticky tasting. Well, not tasting plasticky, feeling. Um, six out of ten. Again, some chocolate. So this is Hershey's. They've been doing it for over a hundred years. So hopefully they didn't f this up. It's not very milky. Um, it's acceptable, but I just prefer British chocolate. I would give this a. Seven out of 10. It's all right. It doesn't really melt in your mouth like British chocolate does, I guess. It's not as milky. Is this the last one? Um, Sour Patch Kids. Yay! It's not like a um, gummy bear, because it sticks to like your teeth. Pretty good, it tastes like orange. It isn't that sour though, at all. That one's pretty sour. I like the blue one. Yeah, these taste pretty good. Um, I would give these an eight out of 10, pretty yummy. All right guys, so that is that. Let us know what you think in the comment section. And yeah, if there's any other foods that you think that I should try, then suggest them. Maybe we'll do another video. And just so you know, we do have another single out. Make sure you check it out. The link will be down posted below. And yeah, see you guys soon. Listen to Kong conquer divide.